take us all the way back to the flood. We can go back in our history to slavery. Y'all understand that? So we really blessed that we had somebody who, and Dad had y'all know Granddad had a memory outside. And so uh, Granddad's oldest brother, Uncle Finch, Uncle Finch told me that Granddad Simon had six kids, and Miss Holmes had six kids. Mr. Holmes died. And Granddad Simon married Miss Holmes, and he said they were like the Brady Bunch when they got married. Mm -hmm. So, Paul Lucia, y'all know Paul, Paul Lucia, Granddad of Charlie's dad. He was born in 1883. All right, Paul Lucia, excuse me, Paul Boyd, who is, was Miss Holmes. One of them step tools over there on that side of the family. Home, on the home side. And Paul Lucia on the murder side. That's how they were step or hand or however you want to put it. Y'all follow me? And a time we got pictures of a time and Paul Lucia was hand. Is that right, Paul? A time and Paul Lucia was hand. Hold on. Okay. My Maori and a time Half Paul Boyd was half sister brother, and Paul Lucia and A. was full sister brother. I'm trying to bring them down. Go ahead. Oh, what A. Tab when she died. I remember her. Oh, A. Tab was probably her daddy. I remember A. Tab. Yeah, I remember A. Tab. Right. We got pictures of A. Tab on the video. I got, I got, I got my eighty four. Got to break it up. All right. Um, Daddy told me that. The way, well, Dad told me the way that him and Mama met. Said he, uh, y'all know Paul Lucy was a crushed uh, uh, sharecropper. He always he would rent his farm, and therefore he could keep all the money from the farm. Y'all follow? Me? Uh, so it's not a, he might what a sharecropper was. He rented no, right. A lot of folks sharecrop in that whatever they made. The white man got half of it, and they got half of it. But you know, all the time, they got beat out of most of the money. And so, what Dad said, he, he had, Paul Lucia had bought him a car. Paul Lucia never owned a car, I, I never learned how to drive, never bought himself a car. Uh, Y'all ever heard of the Hoover Day? Go <laughs> President Hoover Day, that when they had the Great Crush, I mean, the, 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 the Great Depression. Dad said during the Depression, Paul Lucia was born in 1883. Uh, came, came back to town. So Paul Lucia had his own farm. He had a, 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 a Paul Lucia wore vests all the time. Suit, three-piece suit. And Dad said Paul Lucia stepped off the train. Most folks had come with rankings during Hoover time. And Paul Lucia had a brand new suit, shine shoes. Everybody want to know who's but he was doing good because he, he rented his phone. And he kept his own money. He paid his bills, and he didn't have to get a white man half of what he got. Mm. But uh, but Dad said Paul Lucia did good during the Hoover days. So he bought them a car. Mm. So Dad said him and Uncle Todd and some more folks, that's a three of them in the car, they were headed to Custom from Cunning. And about halfway, before y'all remember, y'all know where the car the Creek Bridge is at, going to Cunning. Some of y'all know. Yeah, well, that long tree that going to Mount Sinister. A rat, I think it's on the other side of the tree. Well, that high hill that dad said, uh, they come out of that, they come out of that, that curve there, come into town, and this white guy, the guy named Boone, if I remember right, so he flew up and down the road all the time, and he hit him. Dad's not called in the bushes, and they got out half days. So he was walking around and he walked up to mama in them house and he saw this angel. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Name Mayor. Mm -hmm. And and he said that he, after he got straightened out, he said he wanted to go back and meet that angel. Mm -hmm. And him and mama started dating. Mm -hmm. But dad said they got together on a wreck. He said, thank the Lord for the rent. <laughs> that he fed mama. And they started dating. And 
Yeah, yeah. my dad, back then, daddy, daddy drank. Y'all know that. Granddad loved himself some liquor. That is so mm. And so, mom told us, well, Charlie, if you're going to marry me, the liquor baller got it. Got it. Come on, man. Got it. Dad liked me like he'd rather have his angel than the liquor baller. And so he couldn't lose. Mm -hmm. and, and, and him and mama came together. And, and, and started, he started their family with the first one named Ross. But now, she had stole the girl. <laughs> <laughs> but mama was 16, I think, when they Yeah, mama was 16, just like me and my wife. Uh -huh. Lord was 16 when I got, when I married Lord was 16. Dad married mama was 16. Dad was five years older than mama. I'm five years older than my wife. <laughs> and we got we just celebrated 42 years. Amen. <laughs> so now <laughs> what I'm telling you guys is this. I'm, 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 I'm shooting it to the guy. So y'all gotta get mad. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I'm proud of my
think it's more, it's worse to bring a child into a chaotic situation. If you're going to marry her in this situation, it's still going to be chaotic. I, to me, would say, don't do it. Don't bring a child into a, uh, don't marry someone just because you impregnated them. Mm -hmm. is, you already know it's a chaotic situation. Mm -hmm. So to me, that kind of makes me feel like we're forcing someone to marry someone. I mean, I just think we need to open the dialogue in. Yeah. 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 Like, you know what I'm talking about? I ain't, I ain't even talking about marrying your baby mama. Mm -hmm. right. I'm talking about marrying somebody like Charlie did that ain't. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that you compatible so that you really love. That's what I'm talking about. If you got a situation or over there, if you got a situation yeah, and you can seek counsel and you can you y'all can work it out then you can be but don't just be you married call right. Right. right because you that's, that's right. Right. you messed up and that's gonna make the situation better regardless of your forgiveness we all got sin right but we ain't forgiven. Right. And when you repent, that means you're going to change. Right. And so what I'm talking about, what you have did, that's there. You can change it. 